Why don't we talk about header tube length and see if equal headers is really what you want. So why do people think they want equal header length tubes in the first place? Like why would having each tube the same length make power? Here's their theory. See the point of equal length headers is they want each exhaust pulse to be evenly spaced out one after the other so when it comes down the tube and enters the collector one pulse will enter the collector first help draw out this pulse which will help draw out that pulse which will help draw out that pulse makes sense they want them staggered so each pulse gets to the collector end at a different time to help draw out all the rest of them that's why collectors are so important on your headers and having the right length collector to actually help all the scavenging happen but while that makes sense and that's exactly what you want to have happen they don't take one key thing into account so here we go the biggest overlooked aspect of this whole debate the firing order this is a small block chevy but most every v8 is going to have this quirk notice in the firing order five and seven fire right after each other five and seven right here so what's that going to do well if we come back to our diagram of what we want to have happen them evenly spaced apart so that they can help each other come out of the tube when each pulse reaches the collector it helps the next one out well, if 5 and 7 happen basically at the same time, they travel down their tubes the same time and hit the collector at the same time. Neither one of them is helping each other out in that scenario. And having both pulses come to the collector at the same time overloads that collector, causes pressure. So putting it like that, it's pretty obvious to see. You don't want 5 and 7 to have the same tube length because you want one to get delayed so it can help the other one out and doesn't overload your collector, causing back pressure. You'd want seven to be a slightly longer tube, that way when five goes, it has a bit of a head start towards the collector, so when it gets down here, it can help pull seven out. And it's not just five and seven that's the problem, it's also what comes after it. See, if five and seven happen at the same time, then there is no pulse in the tube to help draw out number one. See, that gets all used up, and then when it comes back down to one, that has to fight all by itself to try to get down there. And really, if you think about it, eight and four are on the same side too. So these two cylinders are also getting to the collector about the same time. So it's really on both ends. It's just a terrible situation overall. So, and like I said before, there's a lot of V8 engines out there with that quirk, just based on the way V8 engines are designed. Somewhere along the firing order, there's bound to be two cylinders that fire one right after the other. Some don't. Most do. And that's really why you don't want equal length headers. I, everybody's obsessed about getting equal length header tubes. Why? doesn't make any sense if you actually know what it is you're trying to accomplish. If you have unequal length headers tuned to your own firing order, that way you can keep the signal down at the collector a nice steady signal, pulling all that scavenging, all that exhaust out. That that's what you want, right? I I got that right, right? Yeah, you got that right. All right, good. I'm glad I know what I'm talking about. Ugh. I'll catch you next time.